Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to continue my Rocky series and talk about Rocky 2. Since Creed 2 is coming out this week, I'm going to well, watch all the Rocky movies. And I watched the first one, so check out my review of the first one. And Rocky 2 is one of those sequels that it's cool because it literally starts right after the first one ends. Um, that's cool whenever movies do that. I think that that's a really cool continuity connection between both of them. I really enjoy that a lot. It's kind of like how Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 do that, where they just literally connect the second after the last one ends. I think that's a really cool thing when movies do that, uh, sequels. So I really liked how it had the recap of the first one, and then it started out continuing off of the first one. Um, and I really like how this... This movie, I think, is cool because the way that Rocky in the first movie, like, is, is totally different in this movie in a way where Rocky, in the first movie, is this underdog who wants to just make it to the top. Whether he wins or not, he wants to make it to the fight, to fight Apollo. Um, and he gets to that fight with Apollo in the first movie and doesn't win it, but he made it there with a new, with a new love and with his friends. He made it there, even if he lost, he still made it there and felt lucky that he even got that far. So I love how in Rocky 2, Rocky is a different character in a way where he has grown, where in this one, now since he has finished off with Apollo, he retires, retires, and he starts acting kind of different, where he's splurging on money for Adrian, for him. Um, and I really like that because it may it shows how different this character has become since the first movie. And I like how he just gets over his head with money and luxuries. Like, that's a cool difference with what his character is like in this movie as opposed to the first one. Because in the first one, he had no money. He lived in a ratty apartment. Um, and now he's gained money after even losing with Apollo. He's still gained money. And I really like that a lot. And I really appreciated Apollo Creed. And this one got a little bit more development. Um, he's, like, he's got a couple more scenes than he does in the first one, and he gets more scenes throughout Rocky 3 and 4, but in this one, like, the, he has more screen time than he does in the first movie, and I really like his character in this movie. Um, Carl Weathers gets a little more time to shine in this movie, and I think that the way, the way he develops is good, because I like how after he beat Rocky, he, everybody, there's a lot of, like, letters that people send him where he, they say he's a fake. They say that he, he, uh, like, he won, but he was just a fake doing all this. And I like that it pisses him off to where he wants to fight Rocky again. And I just think that's a cool, I just think it's a really awesome way of having them return in which Apollo is angry and he wants to fight him back because he wants to not be um, considered like a joke or considered like a fake. Like, I liked that a lot. That's really cool. Um, and I liked how you get Rocky, like, going into doing commercials where he fails at it, and then he tries to get jobs, which he fails at, because he has no education. He's got no nothing. Like, he's just... So he goes to Polly's meat shop and works there, but then they get rid of him because of a union thing where they just have to get rid of uh, the lower end of the spectrum on, like, a union, so he, they have to get rid of Rocky. So Rocky has, is forcibly uh, taken away from his job, so now Adrian has to work at the pet shop again. And Adrian is doing this while she's pregnant, because they are going to have a baby now in this movie. And I like how they get married and they're going to have a baby, too. I like that it changes. Like, in the first movie, they were just in love. Like, it was... Um, love at first sight basically with Rocky and then he tried to win her over and he did but in this one they really go the full love route and go they get married and they have a baby um and I like that this made Adrian have to work um at the pet shop because Rocky couldn't hold a job or go anywhere because he didn't have any education and he she had goes into a coma and I really did, at first I was like, well, I don't do that. But then I thought to myself, wait, that is a cool way of upping the stakes and a cool way of having Rocky kind of go on at his own, even though Adrian does come back, like she wakes up from the coma later. But I liked that little scare of like, oh no, she's in a coma, will she wake up? Because it, 
Rocky having Adrian one of his biggest like things in life that he holds on to. She's in a coma. He fights harder while she's in a coma. And I think that that's just a really cool. Again, that's just a great way of having this character develop more, Rocky develop more. And whatever she gets out of it, they have. They she already had the baby and they name it Rocky Junior, which I thought was funny. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then we get a lot of montages, which are really fun because the montages in this movie are like the first one uh, but they're a tad sillier, just a tad not in a way where I don't like it at all and I don't dislike any of the Rocky movies but the Rocky movies get sillier and sillier as they go along in, in some cases in some cases they get more serious but um, this one had a couple silly moments which I'm totally fine with they were fun and they made this movie charming with the silly moments like for example whenever they have the montage and Rocky's running around and all those kids are following him, but it's like a thousand kids, so it's kind of re really ridiculous in terms of like, there are a thousand kids running after this one guy, just Rocky training, even though Rocky has become a name and he's become popular, it's like, there's a thousand kids behind you running, that's kind of over, it's silly, but I, I do enjoy it though, still, it it's, gives it its charm, like it has a charm because of that silliness, so I do enjoy that. And I really like the ending fight between Rocky and Apollo more in this one, honestly, than the first one. I think that this one looks better, it's shot better, even though the first one is more, I guess you could say grittier, like it, it's not filmed the same way, like the fight between him and Apollo in the first one. In this one, it's more bright, and I I don't know, I like the way it was shot. I feel like it was actually like, you're actually watching something on TV, like watching a boxing, like actually watching this on TV. So I thought that was awesome, and honestly, the ending, like, I love the ending of the first one, but watching this one again, the ending to this really did, like, I thought it was just as good as the first one, and honestly, I think they're both great companion pieces, the endings, because in the first movie, Rocky lost, but he didn't, it didn't matter to him, because he just made it as far as he could, and he was glad he made it that far, he, get, he gained Adrian, and he gained more... Uh, friendships and in this one it feels so much more warranted that he wins in this one as opposed to the first one if he won in the first one I would have felt like that would have been a little bit more of a cop out in this one it feels way more warranted because he fought Apollo once he lost he trained all this time um, more than he did in the first one so I felt like it made more sense that he won in this one as opposed to the first one and I love the first one and the ending alone that he didn't win but he made it there as far as he could and was happy and satisfied with that but in this one I love the fact that he won and I love the fact that he beats Apollo and it's so quick I love the fact that um, they're counting down they're counting up to 10 and then like they're both on the ground and they're both trying to pull themselves up to get up there Apollo almost makes it up and then faints and falls down and Rocky makes it up and wins he uh, he wins the whole thing and I love that and I love his speech and I love how he says like to Adrian like yo Adrian we did it and then it just has the thing where she says I love you again but she says it at home because she's um, just at home this time and it ends in the same way the first one does except for he wins but I think that they both work really well both of these endings are great um, and the only thing I think I have an issue with in this movie is for me personally, I think it's kind of slower than the first one. It's weird. They're both the same length. They're like two hours long. Both of them exactly like two hours. And this one, I felt like the first one introducing these characters and having Rocky as this underdog was more interesting than him being like him getting money in this but then losing the money. Um, I felt like it was more interesting in the first one where they built up like he's got to fight this guy and he's, he's this underdog who has no money, has a ratty apartment, um, is trying to win over Adrian and all that. And in this one, it's good with Adrian in a coma, and it's good with Apollo wanting to fight Rocky and, and being mad at everybody because they thought that he's a fake because he won every one. But I felt like it was just a tad more interesting in the first one, even though this one is still a great sequel. I just felt like it was a little bit slower than the first one. I thought the first one was more... Like, I, I like the character's more in the first one, even though they're great in this one, I feel like the first one is a classic, like, a true classic, and this one is a great sequel. It's just not the first movie, but it's pretty close. It's a close sequel. It's a really good. Um, it's not my favorite sequel, 
but we'll get to those later. But I really do love Rocky too. I thought that this one, despite it being having a couple slow moments than the first one for me, this is still a fantastic sequel and it still is a very great companion piece with the first one where the like just with the endings where like in the first one he lost because he just wanted to make it that far and even though he lost he didn't care. He made it that far that he he went the distance. In this one he actually won and he and it felt more warranted. So I felt like these both movie both of these movies are really like, you, like, I feel like I have to watch them both back to back now. Like, and I've only seen them a couple times, but man, I do need to, like, I don't think I can not watch the first one without watching this one. Even though the first one is fine on its own, definitely, it's fantastic. But this one just feels so complete, even though there's a lot more sequels, and some of them are great. But this one and two feel very complete on their own merits. Like, they feel like a complete chapter of Rocky. So, I'm really interested to see what I think of the rest of the movies, um, because there's some I love, and there's some that I think are fine or all right. So, um, here's the scene. I'll think about those. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my review of Rocky 2. Rocky 3 review will be next, so thank you guys so much for watching.